Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will like to discuss how to calculate depreciation expense using straight line method. So this is the formula for straight line method. Number one, the formula is cost. This is the formula for calculate depreciation cost less residual value divided by useful life. And the second formula is percentage times cost less residual value. So this is the straight line method. So we are given the example, John Enterprise purchased machine on 1st January 2019. So 1st January 2019 is the date of purchase. The cost of the machine is 130,000 RM. 130,000 is the cost of machine. The residual value is RM 10,000 and the useful life is 10 years. And given that accounting period ended every 31st December, now you are required to prepare to calculate depreciation expense at 31st December 2019, adjusted general entry at the end of 31st December. So this is the accounting period, depreciation expense account and accumulated depreciation account. And the last one, financial position statement as at 31st December 2019. So from the question, you must identify first the date of purchase, the second, the second one, the cost of the machine, the third one, the residual value, and the last one, useful life. And you must know the ended period or the accounting period. Now, how to calculate the depreciation? The formula is cost 130,000 less residual value and divided by useful life. Then you will get RM12,000. And at the end of the accounting period, you have to prepare adjusted general entry. So, debit depreciation and credit accumulated depreciation 12,000. And then, you have to prepare the depreciation expense machine. This is the expenses. So, debit, depreciation expense. The details is accumulated depreciation for machine. And at the end of the account, at the end of the accounting period, we have to close the depreciation expense and transfer the amount to income statement. The next one, you have to prepare accumulated depreciation and this is the account that contra to the asset. So, accumulated depreciation you have to credit and the detail is depreciation expense 12,000. At the end of accounting period, we have to close the accumulated depreciation and we have to calculate balance forward. This is the Financial position statement for John Enterprise. This is the extract of non current asset. Machine 130,000. This is the cost. Less accumulated depreciation at the end of accounting period 2019. And you get 118,000. The next one purchase fixed asset based on monthly basis. So, if we purchase on January 20th, 2019, so it is given that, uh, based on the previous question, given that the cost of machine is 130,000, residual value is 10,000, and the, accumulate, the useful life is 10 years. So, we have to exclude January we have to calculate only February to December and exclude January because we have to calculate, we have to exclude because less than 15 days for January. So you just calculate 11 months out of 12 and then you will get 
the depreciation on the RM11,000. So, we have to make an adjustment general entry, debit, depreciation, and credit, accumulated depreciation at the end of accounting period when we use monthly basis. The next one, when we purchase fixed asset based on yearly basis. So, on January 20th, we have to include for the month of January. So, we have to calculate from January 12 over 12, 12 months. And given that the cost of asset 130,000 less the residual value divided by useful life. And then you will get depreciation for the year is 12,000. And we have to prepare the adjusted journal entry, debit, depreciation, and credit. Accumulated depreciation, 12,000 for yearly basis. Next question, Shirley Enterprise purchase equipment on 1st January 2016. So the date of purchase is 1st January 2016. The cost of machine is RM50,000. The useful life, 4 years, and the residual value of the equipment RM7,000. So you are required first to prepare, schedule, calculate the depreciation expense each year under straight line method. And the second one, adjusted journal entry at 31st December 2019. So the depreciation expense if is 50,000 cost less residual value divided by useful life. So the, you, you will get the answer at 10,750 for every year. This is the step of preparing schedule. Number one, calculate depreciation equals to cost less residual value divided by useful life. Number two, we have to calculate accumulated depreciation from the date of purchase, fixed of asset to the current year to the current year of fixed asset. Number three, we have to calculate book value equals to cost less accumulated depreciation and number four residual value cost less accumulated depreciation and this is the schedule of depreciation expense under straight line method as we can see that 2016 until 2019, they have equal amount of depreciation expense. And for accumulated depreciation for 2016 is 10,750. The next one, 21,500. The next one, 32,250. And the last one accumulated is 43,000. And the last one, the residual value, the formula is cost 50,000 less 43,000, we get residual value. But in the question, we are given the residual value. So the residual value is given and we can check the answer. Cost 50,000 less 43,000 equals to residual value. And from the schedule, we can find out the adjusted journal entry at the end of 31st December 2019, debit depreciation expense 10750 and credit accumulated depreciation 10750 based on the schedule that we have done before. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.